Hello again, everyone. Hope you're well, and I hope you're enjoying our current set of movements, breaths, flow in our Tai Chi Qigong sections. We're right in the middle of our current sequence, which is the second set of Shibashi. So um, we've done eight moves already. We've got moves nine to 12 today, right in the half by 18 set. I'm going to, as ever, do a warm up, do a, do a review of the last four moves, a, a brief one, and then we'll get into moves nine, 10, 11, and 12. And as ever, you can um, access pre the previous two weeks to um, look at the detailed instructions of moves. Uh, one, two, eight. All right, got it. So let's start with our warm up. One of both arms up and stretch, twist to one side. Come back, twist to the other side. Come back and down. Look to one side. Spin up. Change, look to the other side. Come back to the middle, one ear to one shoulder. Gently change, other ear to other shoulder. Back to the middle, chin down. Circle the chin from one shoulder to the other. Come back to the middle, shoulders up to the ears, roll back. Roll forward. Arm across the body, up to twist to one side. Come back to the middle, other arm, the same arm, other side, up to twist. Come back, lovely. Legs, one leg up, supported, unsupported, active, circling, one foot both directions, or passive, manipulating with your hands. Whatever's right for you, extend, squish in. Other leg, again, supported, unsupported, active, yourself, on the inside, passive from the outside. Extending, pulling in. Okay, so a little quick review of uh, number five, six, seven, and eight from last week. Go back to last week's session for a full detailed version, all the variations. All right, number five, dragging from side to side, seated or standing. This is a core Tai Chi move. Imagine you're in a pool and you're waving a hand in the water. Right. Number six, loop the loop of one of both hands, either fingers out or pointing away with two fingers. And our options here is obviously one hand can do it. Two hands. And then options to cross one leg behind the other as they go out. And that option extends to standing, stepping behind as low or as high as you want. 
you're doing this as a standing practice. Great. Number five, number seven, hands on hips, extending the feet out. One leg, working one leg, or alternating both legs. Just be one leg if the other leg is unavailable to you. And standing, we've got a balance practice here. So it could be just shifting the weight side to side. It could be knowing that you can extend the toes, put the heel down on one foot or the other. Or it could come with two actual leg raises, low kicks. Nice and relaxed, in control, nice and slow. Good, and then number eight, circling out, down to prayer hands. Could be two hands, two arms, could be one arm. And this is another movement that you can bring one leg behind the other, one foot behind the other, both seated. And standing. Again, depending on your mobility needs, your balance needs. Standing could be just feet not moving, circling and prayer hands as well. Okay, those are our four from last week. Ready for the next four? And we'll begin to um, take a little breathe. We'll, we'll, we'll put them all together next week uh, for the first 12. Um, just to find that flow, because we're adding up, they link together, they perform a beautiful full sequence, um, as we did with the last 18 Qigong set we did um, previous times in these sessions. Okie dokie. So, number nine, we're going to bring form fists, bring them up, push, palms out and down. Form fists, bring them up. Push out, form fists, push out. Tai Chi, Qigong fists, no tension. Just nice, relaxed. Imagine you've coiled up the fingers like coils in a battery full of energy. No tension that would block the energy in the fingers. So we've got options here for two-handed, One handed, fists up, open palms down. My course, standing as an option if you're doing these sequences, standing versus seated. Right, so that's our number nine. Now 10, 11, 12, we're all very quite dynamic as a standing practice. So we'll take our time to look at options here. 
Okay. Number 10, you're going to bring palms facing each other. I'm going to come up and then one palm blocks the head while the other palm pushes out. You need, where you're pushing, you can lean away from the push. And down, circle down, palms face each other going up. Other palm blocks the head, other palm pushes away, lean away from the push. Um, so push and lean away. Palms face each other up. Push, lean away. Don't worry, guys, I'm gonna show you the single arm version in just a second. Just get you into the flow of two sided seated. Okay, so uh, one palm, we're working one hand up, push the palm away, lean down, up, cover the hand, lean towards your arm, circle down, up, push out the side, lean away from the push, down, up, cover the head, lean towards the bent arm. One sided option. Okay, I'm going to go through these standing. So I think the two sided. Arms facing each other. Facing each other. Block. Push away and lean on the opposite leg. Down. Uh, block other side. Push away. So I'm leaning still. Um, the pushing out and leaning away. Imagine the pushing against the wall and it pushes us back. Looking to where you're pushing away, if that's okay, unless it makes you dizzy, look straight ahead. So number 10. Again, one sided options here, pushing away, leaning away, locking the head, leaning towards the elbow, uh, pushing away, leaning away, locking the head, leaning towards. All right, okay, so number 11, seated now. I hope you're enjoying the movements. They're getting quite diverse and, and varied, aren't they, right now? So, number 11, we are one foot forward. We're going to lean over one leg and we're going to make hollow fists and bring them down our back and from our opening down towards our kidneys and then circle up. And then the classic movement here is the ultimate legs as they circle up. Hollow fist, relax fist down the back for the kidneys. I'm alternating my leading leg, but I'm leaning over. Just lean forwards, fist down to my kidneys, circle up. Lean forwards, pull the fist down my back to my kidneys, circle up. And of course, you can just work one leg. You can keep put options here, keep both exactly where they are and alternate both sides when we have these kind of movements. You don't have to extend the leg, just lean the body over one leg, change, lean the body over the other leg. And one arm above you, 
palm facing in. Take a fist down the side of the body. Lean forward, palm facing in. So lean the way to the other side. So work, palm facing in. Fist down. Good, and then standing options again. Feet could be in the same place. Leaning, just lean forwards, arms up, fist down the side towards the kidneys, lean forwards. You're just on the spot, central over both legs. If you know that balance will support us, step forwards, leaning forwards, just go down the back. Uh, change, lean forward, fist down the back. You're alternating the feet. Lean forward, make fists down the ribs, down to the kidneys at the back. Circle forwards. Great, okay. And then number 12, the last one. So we're gonna, so far we're gonna push to one side, come down, up, push to the other side, circle down, up, push to one side, circle up, down, up. Push to yes. Going through our options would be one handed push. Push and circle out, push to one side, circle out, push to the other side. Two and circle out, up, push to one side, circle out, up, push to the other side. Standing options, push, push, circle, push, circle, push.
There we go, guys. So there is the 12. So 9, 10, 11, and 12 this week. A little bit, little brief summary just to conclude. Ready? Okay. So we've got number nine, which is. And up. Sorry, fists up. I had a little memory blank there. Forgive me, guys. It happened through all of this. Fists up, push down. Fists up, push down. Here we go. Fists, arms, fists, arms. Then keep the fists relaxed. One on both sides. Good. Now, number 10. Push away, block of the head. Down. Palms up facing. Push away, block of the head. Good. And now lean forward, palms go back, circle up. Lean forward over the foot. Fists, make fists go down to the kidneys, circle up. Leaning over one side and up. Fists down to our kidneys, circle up. Circle palms, fists, kidneys, lean, circle palms. Good. And then the last one, push to one side, circle down, push palm to the other side, circle down, push down. Okay, and then we'll review those standards. Fists, arms down. Fists together, arms down. Shift this, you can see a bit more of me. Good. Number 10, palms face each other, block, push away. Oh. Palms face each other, block, push away. Oh. Even in, breathe out. Even in, breathe in. Option number 11 to be leaning forward, fist down to the kidney, circle up, leaning forward, right in the middle, circle up, or one step forward, lean over that foot, 
So I'll go up, change that. Fifth Thursday kittens. So I'll go up, change that. And then number 12, push to one side, circle out and down, up. push other side, circle out, down, push, circle, push, circle. There we go. All right. So that's a good chunk, isn't it? That's 12 of the 18 in this set. So next week, I think we'll try and link it all together. And we're over halfway. Um, and just, just catch our breath with, and just put all this together, see how you find the flow of all of the movements before we go on for the next couple of uh, remaining movements for the next seven remaining movements which will break down across two classes. So we'll just link one to 12 together as a whole flow next time. Take care guys, bye-bye.